Hello and welcome to day four of your five-day Ashtanga-based series. So if you're new to the channel, welcome. And if you've landed up on this video, you are more than welcome to do this practice all by itself. But I'm going to recommend that you check out day one. I just give a quick brief introduction as to what the series is, and it gives you some context as to what Ashtanga is about. But in brief, this practice today is going to be three sun salutations that will warm up and then 10 postures. And throughout the practice, we're going to be synchronizing our breath with our movements or a vinyasa. So one breath, one movement. And I've created a nice set of 10 postures from the series. So you really get a good understanding. And by the end of it, you really will be able to know what Ashtanga is all about. We're going to begin today in a standing posture at the top of a mat. So you can make your way there slowly. In Samasitihi, the Ashtanga version, having your hands by your sides, standing up nice and tall. Close your eyes and take a few deep breaths to arrive. And throughout this practice, I'm going to encourage you to focus on synchronizing your breath with your movements and really consider the magic in repetition. Now, I have changed the postures slightly throughout the five days, so you get a good flavor of the full Ashtanga experience, but there will be a lot of familiar postures. And notice any resistance to that. And instead of saying, oh, wow, this is me doing the same posture again, this is potentially quite boring, Think about the fact that there is a sense of familiarity and then once you know the posture and you're familiar with it, deepen your sense of awareness within your self-practice. Inhale, high mountain, reach your arms up to the sky. Exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana, bow down and release. Inhale, halfway lift, straighten your spine. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana, step back, lower halfway, elbows in. Inhale, up dog, roll over the toes, roll the shoulders back. Exhale, down dog, send the hips up and melt the heels down. Close your eyes and hold for five breaths. One. Two. Three. Four. Five, release. Inhale, halfway lift. Make your way to the top of the mat. Straighten your spine. Exhale, fold and release. Inhale, high mountain. Bend the knees. Arms reach up to the sky. Exhale, Samasiti. Bring your hands to your sides. Inhale, high mountain. Arms reach up. Exhale, forward fold, bow down and let that all go. Inhale, halfway lift, straighten the spine and prepare. Exhale, Chaturanga, step back, lower halfway, elbows in. If you need to, you can lower your knees. Inhale, up dog, roll over the toes, squeeze thighs, shoulders back. Exhale, down dog, hips up, heels down. Close your eyes, hold for five breaths. One. Two, three, four, five. Release, bend the knees. Inhale, halfway lift. Make your way to the top of the mat. Straighten your spine. Exhale, forward fold. Let that go. Inhale, high mountain. Arms reach up to the sky. Exhale, Samasiti, bring your hands to your sides. Inhale, Utkatasana, sit down into the chair, arms reach up. Exhale, forward fold and release. Inhale, halfway lift, straighten the spine, prepare. Exhale, Chaturanga, step back, elbows in, lower halfway. Inhale, up dog, over your toes, roll the shoulders back. Exhale, down dog, send the hips up, melt your heels down. Inhale, warrior one, step the right foot to the top of the mat, reach your arms out to the sky and ground your back heel, reach up. Exhale, chataranga, lower halfway, elbows in. Inhale, up dog, roll over the toes, roll the shoulders back. 
Exhale, down dog, hips up, heels down. Inhale, warrior one, left foot steps to the top, reach your arms up, lower the back heel. Exhale, chaturanga, lower down to plank, lower halfway, elbows in. Inhale, up dog, roll over the toes, squeeze your thighs. Exhale, down dog, send the hips up, close your eyes and hold for five breaths. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. And release. Inhale, halfway lift. Bend the knees, look forward. Make your way to the top. Straighten the spine. Exhale, forward fold and release. Inhale, chair. Utkatasana. Sit down into the heels. Arms reach up. Exhale, Samasiti, bring your hands to your sides. And release. We're going to make our way into the first posture, Pada Hastasana, which is a wide-legged forward fold. So bring your feet to hip-width distance apart. Take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, fold down to the floor. And with your two fingers, with the one hand, take hold of your big toe. And the two fingers on the other hand, take hold of your other toe. Now, have your elbows facing out. Generous bend to the knees and get your belly onto your thighs. Relax the back of the neck. Inhale, slight halfway lift, straighten the spine. Exhale, forward fold deeper into the posture and hold for five breaths. One. Two. At the same time, pull your back of the head down to the floor. Three. And at the same time, press your heels into the ground and lift the tailbone up. Four. So it's a push-pull action. Five. Release the fingers. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, chaturanga. Step back to plank, lower halfway. Inhale, up dog. Roll over the toes. Roll the shoulders back. Exhale, down dog. Send the hips up. Melt the heels down. Inhale, halfway lift. Make your way to the top of the mat. Straighten the spine. Exhale, forward fold and release. Inhale, high mountain, reach the arms up to the sky. Exhale, samasitihi, hands by your sides. Inhale, trikonasana. So step your left foot to the back of your mat. We're going to have your right foot in, left foot facing out, arms by your sides. As you look to the left foot, take a deep breath in. As you exhale, shift your weight forward towards the left foot and then lower the arms down to six and 12. Options to stay here. If you have a block, you can always place it on the floor on any posture or any position on the block that is relevant to your flexibility. I like to have mine up like so. Now you wanna activate your front leg and roll the right hip open. Hold for five breaths. One. Two. Three. Four, five, and release to stand up. Move through center. Switch your legs out or switch your feet out right to the front. The left foot comes in, so the back, the back edge of your left foot is parallel to the back of your mat. Activate your front kneecap. Inhale, reach your arms forward. Exhale, release the right arm down, left arm up. Kneecap is up. Rotate your left side body open and lower the right side body forward and down. Hold for five breaths. One, keep breathing. Two, three, four, five, and release. Roll up, take a deep breath in. Exhale, Chaturanga, windmill your hands to the floor. Lower halfway in your plank, elbows in. Inhale, up dog, roll over the toes. Roll the shoulders back, squeeze your thighs. Exhale, down dog, send the hips up, lower the heels down. Inhale, halfway lift, make your way to the top of the mat. Straighten your spine. Exhale, forward fold, bow down and release. Inhale, high mountain, arms reach up. 
Exhale, Summer City, hands by your sides. Inhale, wind remove on the right hand side. Right knee raises up, interlace the hands, place them onto the front of the shin. Draw the knee in towards the chest and slightly out towards the right shoulder. Tuck the chin, roll the shoulders back and down, open up the chest. Hold for five breaths. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. And release. Gently lower the leg. Left leg comes up. Interlace. In towards the chest. Out towards the left shoulder. See if you can stack your head, shoulders, hips all over your knees. Hold for five breaths. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. And release Samasiti, hands by your sides. Inhale, high mountain, reach your arms up to the sky. Exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana, bow down and release. Inhale, halfway lift, straighten your spine. Exhale, a chataranga, windmill your hands down to plank and lower halfway, elbows in. Inhale, up dog, roll over the toes, squeeze the thighs, shoulders roll back. Exhale, down dog, send the hips up, melt your heels down. Inhale, halfway lift, make your way to the top of the mat, straighten the spine. Exhale, fold. Inhale, high mountain, arms rise. Exhale, Samasiti, hands by your sides. Inhale, figure four. I'm going to begin on the right-hand side. You're going to bend the knees. Right foot stacks on top of the left. See if you can flex your right toes. Sit your hips down. Make sure your sitting bones are square to the floor. Bring your hands to prayer. Tall spine. Tuck the chin. Roll the shoulders back. Open up the chest. Hold for five. One. Keep breathing. Two, three, four, five, and release. Exchange it out, right foot down, left foot stacks on top of the right, bend into the right knee, flex your left toes, hands come to prayer. Open up through the chest, tuck the chin, hold for five, one. Two, three, four, five, and release. Feet down, hands by your sides, Samasiti. Inhale, high mountain, reach the arms up. Exhale, forward fold, bow down, and release. Inhale, halfway lift, straighten the spine. Tuck your chin. Exhale, Chaturanga, step back, lower halfway, elbows in. Inhale, up dog, roll over the toes, squeeze your thighs. Exhale, down dog, send the hips up, melt your heels down. Inhale, halfway lift, step to the top of the mat, straighten your spine. Exhale, fold. Inhale, high mountain, arms reach up. Exhale, Samasiti, hands by your sides. Inhale, chair pose, Utkatasana. Sit down into the heels, arms alongside your ears. Squeeze your thighs, tuck your tailbone. Make sure that your knees, you can see the toes just over your knees. Wrap your pinkies in, melt your shoulders down, and tuck your chin. Hold for five. One. Two, three, soften into the face, keep breathing, four, five, and release. Samasiti, stand up, hands by your sides. Inhale, high mountain, reach the arms up. Exhale, forward fold, bow down, and release. Inhale, halfway lift, straighten the spine, draw your shoulders back. Exhale, Chataranga, step back to plank, lower halfway, elbows in. 
Inhale, up dog, roll over the toes. Squeeze the thighs, look up. Exhale, down dog, send the hips up, melt the heels down. Inhale, bend the knees, look forward. Exhale, make your way through to a seat on your mat. Extend your legs out, we're gonna make our way into Pachi Motanasana. So we're gonna begin with a generous bend to the knees, get onto the front of your sitting bones. Reach your arms up to inhale. Exhale, shift the weight forward. Take hold of your the outer blades of your feet or your shins. And as you exhale, you're gonna release the back of the neck and begin to walk your sitting bones back to find a nice sweet spot, keeping your belly onto your thighs with a nice straight spine. Hold for five breaths. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. And release. Roll over your legs. Press to plank and lower halfway chaturanga elbows in. Inhale, up dog. Roll over the toes. Roll the shoulders back. Exhale, down dog. Hips up. Heels down. Inhale, bend the knees. Look forward. Exhale, make your way through to a seat on your mat. Inhale, extend both legs out in front of you and have a little bit of space in between them. We're gonna start off with a bend in the knees and get into the front of the sitting bones. So this is a sort of a pancake fold. It's quite a tricky one. So options to place some blocks underneath your legs. Uh, I like to keep my legs a little bit more bent so I can work the fold at the crease of the hips. Get onto the front of your sitting bones. Inhale, reach the arms up to the sky. Exhale, shift forward and release. Release the back of the neck. Close your eyes and hold for five breaths. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. And release. Inhale, wind remover, so lower down onto your back nice and gently. Draw the right knee into your chest. Flex both toes. Interlace the hands, place them onto the front of the shin. Relax the back of the neck onto the floor. Tuck your chin. Shoulders back. And you want to draw your knee in towards your chest and slightly out towards the right shoulder. Keep your left foot, left leg flexed, left toes flexed. So the back of your left hamstring is on the floor. Hold for five breaths. One. Two, three, four, five, and release. Supine twist, right knee goes over to the left-hand side. Look up and over the right shoulder. You want to make sure that your right shoulder is on the floor. And if your right leg is up in the sky and it is creating a bit of discomfort, you can always place a block underneath your right knee. Hold for five. One. Two, three, four, five, release. Right knee comes into the chest, exchange it out, left leg comes in. Wind remove on the left hand side, interlace the hands, place them into the front of the left shin, flex both toes, back your right leg is nice and active, the full leg is on the floor. Tuck the chin, shoulders draw back. And draw the left knee into the chest and slightly out towards the left shoulder. Hold for five. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. And release. Left leg goes over to the right hand side. Supine twist. Lower it over. Look up and over the left shoulder. Left arm can come up beside you for some support. If you'd like to, you can always rest the left leg onto a block. Hold for five. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. And release. Draw both knees into your chest. Wrap your arms around your knees. Give yourself a tight squeeze. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, release into Shavasana. Well done. You can have your toes fall out, palms facing up. Take a deep breath in to fill your belly. 
And as you exhale, you're going to release and relax into your Shavasana. This is the last posture. Take a deep breath in. Once again, fill your belly up. And with some sound, open mouth sigh to let that go. Well done. And see if you can lay still in your Shavasana, noticing any sensations, noticing the sensations with your breath. And if you find that your thoughts wander off, that's totally fine. Just notice when you've lost your attention. And then once you've done that, just draw it back to the breath, draw it into the body and see if you can lay still and just keep returning the attention into the breath and into the body. You're welcome to lay here for as long as you like. There really is no rush. Thank you once again for putting such amazing effort into your self-practice and all the support into this channel. It really does mean a lot to me. If you have any comments or questions or if you'd like to let me know how your day four went, even just with a quick namaste, I would love to hear from you. It goes a long way with the support and the growth of this channel. Otherwise, I will see you here for the last day, day five of the five-day challenge. Namaste.